everybody, my name is Lee. Welcome back to another episode of Bombsy 2. Today you join me on the Scum 2020 map driving YX68 URF and E200 MMC with Transbora bus. We're going to be driving this on the number 9 bus from Scum bus station to the hospital and back. It's a short route of just under 20 minutes long. So without further ado, let's begin. Fire system pressure, okay. There we go, should say, yep. Nine, hospital park and ride. Um, we're driving YX6 URF 1297 at Transborer Bus Southwest, which no longer exists. I don't get to why it really gets really cold. So, Transporter Bus Southwest, uh, or the Alton Coaches license, uh, no longer exists. Um, and the reason for this is quite simply because of um, something what's called a public inquiry. Uh, I don't know what a public inquiry is. Um, it's basically when, um, here in the UK, obviously bus operators are regulated by what is called the Office of Travel. Commissioners. Now, the traffic commissioners are people that check for the bus companies, see if they're doing the things right, and if they don't, they get called over to what's called a public inquiry, and they, the owner or managers or whatever uh, explain to the traffic commissioners um, who are the jury. It's like a bus court and explain this situation of what's wrong. Uh, most of these are for maintenance reasons, but there can be occasions where they can be called public inquiries for multiple reasons. Transport Bus Southwest, also known as Autumn Coaches, on their license, were called to a public inquiry in Bristol a couple of weeks ago and um, to explain the situation um, The reason why was because the company ceased training unexpectedly at short notice. Now, in the UK, you have to give them uh, notice that you're going to cease training. You can't just cease training. You have to give notice. However, Transbora never did that. Um, so the company uh, was called to a public inquiry in Bristol, where the company was based at the time, was so handy there. And the manager, Uh, was called in to explain the situation. The traffic manager uh, was not present. Uh, he left the company a few weeks beforehand um, and the uh, relationship between him and the owner and the car. So that's what the company did. Um, multiple reasons for the company blamed. And the company lost its license. Uh, the traffic manager himself uh, lost uh, all rights to her owning, uh, becoming a traffic manager for five years with a video effect. And, yeah, and the company was forced to pay a fee, uh, which doesn't normally happen. Um, so, what went wrong? So, the company um, was having a few money problems at the time for some reason. Uh, after the manager left, uh, the company fell into money difficulty and it didn't get any better. So the company had no option but to get rid of most of their vehicles and to get rid of most of their vehicles and transfer it to the other license, Blackpool, and which was not affected by this because of its license. And the company and the company Um, 
that's what happened. Um, now, there were other problems, and I will mention one of them, um, and that was the parking problem. Now, Transporter, uh, at the time, were doing a lot of ground replacement work, mainly for Great Western Railway, but occasionally South Western Railway out of their temporary pool, which was affected by this, as well as their depot in Weymouth and Bristol. Um, However, their main contractor was Chilton Railway, which does raise an eyebrow or two. Chilton Railways, if you're not in the know in the UK, operate services from London up to the Midlands, and as far as Birmingham, from the Snow Hills, features of including towns like Tyne Wickham, Banbury, Lemons Bar, Vista, Berlin, and places like that. But they also have a branch line from Highbury, like Princess Ritzman to the town of Aylesbury and a line from Aylesbury Bar Parkway to Amersham and the Bar Bank and the Hickle Bank. However, children railways were finding, trying to find companies to do rail replacements quite tricky as it was quite tricky in that area of Buckinghamshire to find operators. So that, and they had found transformer. So, um, so the company uh, was stuck in. Um, they started doing it over the two week closure last year on the Amersham to the Marlboro line from Aylesbury Bell Parkway to Aylesbury Amersham. Um, however, there was a problem with that. Because of where they were based, they had to park somewhere. Uh, you couldn't drive all the way to Bristol every day, uh, as it would be too long. So the company themselves um, decided to park somewhere in the area. Okay, no problem. So they did. Um, so they did. And it's, 
it just didn't work through for them. They are still based there. Uh, as I record this on Friday the 20th of September, a couple of vehicles are down there at the moment. Uh, one of them is a Volvo 100, and the other one is going to the city, double decker. Um, however, the other vehicles have been parked there before, like their E400 MMC White 7308, uh, which is at Bruce Northern and flat. However, it was always the case that they were parking there for longer than I did. For example, uh, after the rail had finished, um, a couple of weeks later, they would go a week later and back. Um, normally parking at the back, um, just to keep the space. Yeah, 
yeah, that was Route 9 from the bus station, for the bus station part of the hospital. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was a bit waffly, but a lot of them. Um, but if you want to get this bus, um, you can get find the download links for the bus, the repaint, and the map in the link in the description. If you want to find out more about the show bus running day that I'm going to next week, um, and the Chesham running day a week later, the links for that are also in the description. But for now, thank you very much for watching my name and I'll, and I'll see you.